Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we will buy a domain name from GoDaddy and connect this domain name to our Light Funnels panel. Then we will see how to use our domain name between our funnels and stores. Let's get started without wasting time. You can quickly integrate the domain name you bought from GoDaddy into your Light Funnels panel. There are partnership solutions between Light Funnels and GoDaddy. We will see how to integrate the domain name we received into our panel quickly and smoothly. We go to www.godaddy.com. If you want to buy a cheap domain name, you must not have purchased a domain name from GoDaddy before with your email address. Create your membership with GoDaddy and go to the homepage to buy a domain name. Type the domain name you want to buy into the search bar on the homepage. When it finds an accurate match that hasn't been purchased before, add your domain name to the cart and proceed to checkout. I fill in all my information for the domain name I want to buy. The criteria and services you create may change the price of your domain name. At this stage, you can choose the most suitable features and services for yourself. You can buy domain name protection service against pirates. You can rent Microsoft Office services to manage emails. After making your decision at these stages, I proceed to the payment process of my domain name. After making the purchase, my product information will be available in my products section in about a few minutes. Refresh your page every few minutes and after your domain name comes to the products section, we will integrate it into our Light Funnels panel. I add my new domain name to Light Funnels with the Add Custom Domains button. After adding my domain name, I copy the connection value Light Funnels provides us in the instructions field and go back to my GoDaddy DNS management panel. I am deleting the TNAME fields that come ready in the DNS management panel. I will add the TNAME connection value I copied from Light Funnels to the DNS management panel. For this, I create a new key name value with the Add New Record button. I select the record type as C Name. After entering the www value in the record name, I paste the link value I got from Light Funnel in the value section. I saved what I did and now I am going back to my Light Funnels panel. I will perform the verification and connection process of my new domain name that I added in the Domains tab in the Light Funnels panel. For this, I press the Verify Again button and wait for my domain name to establish a connection with Light Funnels. The connection process completed successfully. In order for the domain name to appear in browsers without www at the beginning, we need to make routing settings from the DNS panel. To do this, we go to the GoDaddy DNS management panel again. There are domain and subdomain domains in the forwarding tab. I go to the page with the domain section add forwarding button where we will make forwarding settings. I select the HTTPS protocol and type my domain name in the destination URL field and save the transaction. If we need to repeat what we have done until this part of the video. We purchased our domain name from GoDaddy. We made the DNS settings of our domain name and made the connection with our Light Funnels panel. Then we made the necessary settings for our domain name to open without www in browsers from the DNS forwarding tab. Now we can see how to connect our domain name to our funnels and stores. To connect our domain name that we have saved in our panel to any funnel we want, we go to settings and then to the domain section. With this ellipsis next to our domain name in the list, we select the funnel we want to connect with the set home funnel option. Then we go to the funnel section in the panel. We select the funnel that we will connect our domain name from our funnel list. After making a selection, we access the settings section on the funnel editor screen. In the funnels URL section, we select the domain name we defined and register the transaction. That's all as simple as that. I have connected this domain name to a sample funnel. Now let's view the funnel. As it appears in the browser, our domain name has been successfully displayed, as in the redirection we made from the DNS settings. We separate the domain name that we have from our funnel and free up our domain name. Now we will connect this domain to a store. You cannot use a domain name in funnels or stores at the same time. We go to Funnel Settings. From the Funnel URL section, we separate the funnel we just added from this link. We go to the Settings and Domains section in the panel. From the section where our domain names are listed, we remove our domain name from the funnel we connected our domain name using the Set Home Funnel option. Now our domain name is empty. Now let's see how to connect this domain name to a store. What we need to do to link the domain name to a store is very simple. We go to the Store section in the panel. We select the store I want to connect the domain name. After accessing the domain settings from the settings section on the edit screen of the store. For your domain name listed in the account domain section, we define it for this store with the use this domain button. If you have more than one domain name, all of them will be listed here. All you need to do is select the domain name you want to use. We waited for the 15 second period on the warning screen to complete. You can read the instructions in this warning. Then after saying yes, I understand this domain name is now defined for this store. Now let's see how it looks like. The domain name has been successfully added and I am viewing my store. 
you can quickly connect the domain names you want to use between your funnels and stores. We have seen how to connect our domain name to our funnel and how to separate it from the funnel. We have examined how to connect light funnels to our store. Now let's see how to unlink our domain name from the store. This is very simple to do. On the store settings page, there is the domains section. Under store domains, you can see the domain name we added listed. All you need to do is click on the ellipsis next to the domain name and select remove. This domain address is no longer linked to this store. Now you know how to transfer domain names between stores and funnels. If you want to ask a question about something, you can write to Light Funnel Support. A team member will help you as soon as possible. Take care of yourselves.